Hi friends, hope all are doing great. Today's our topic is designing form two of student marks analyzing system. Here go to project option. Select add form. Then open. A new form is added by the name form two. Let us design the form two. Add a label here. Rename the label as. Go to the caption option in properties window. And rename the label as. Student. Mark sheet. Just go to alignment here, select the alignment as center. Go to the font option here. Make the text as bold. Increase the size of the text. Then click on OK button. If you want to apply the background color to the label, just go to back color option in the property window. Select whichever back color you like. Here many colors are available. Many options are available. If you want to apply the background color to the form, just click on the form. Then the form gets selected. Apply any back color to the form. Then next add a label. Add a text box. Okay, you can resize the label and text box. Just select the label. Go to the caption option here. Rename the label as name. By default, the alignment is left to justify. If you want to make the alignment as alignment of the label as center, just Select center here. Select the text one. Text box. Text is text one. Remove this text one here. Then add one more label. Rename this label as roll number. Make the alignment as centered add one more text box here just remove this text is text to then add one more label rename it as subject one sub one an alignment is center. Add one more text box here. Okay, you can adjust the size of the text boxes. Let's remove this text three In properties window go to text option and remove the text three three add one more label here rename the label as subject to sub to alignment is centered add one text box Text is text four. Remove this text four. Add one more label. Subject three. Any numbers of any number of subjects you can add. Here I am adding only three subjects according to the requirements. 
can add the subject. Okay. Add the text box here. Remove the text file. Then add one more label. Rename it as total. Select the alignment as center. Then add the text box here. Remove this text is text to six. Then next add one more label. Rename this label as percentage. Add the text box here. Remove this text to seven. Okay. Just select this label, press control button and click on all the labels. To select all the labels simultaneously, just go to property window here in font option, select bold, then click on OK button. If you want to resize, you can select the size. Okay, I'll select 10. Click on OK button. See, all the labels have become bold and the size is 10. Then if you want to apply the background color to the labels, just go to back color in properties window. Select whichever color you like. Okay, then add two buttons, button one, button two, rename the button as Where is the caption option here? Here. Rename the button as result. And second button as cancel. Cancel reset. Reset any name we can use. Select this result button, then press the control key, then select this cancel button. See. Both of them are selected. Just go to the font option in the property window. Bold. Okay, make them as bold. Now the text is bold. Now select the sub one text box. Rename the text as name as txt sub one. Then select the Subject to rename it as txt sub 2. Then select the sub 3. Subject 3, rename it as txt sub 3. Then select the total text box, rename it as txt total. Now next select the percentage text box, rename it as the property windows. We are making these changes. TXT per percentage. Then double click on result button, write the code here. It is a code window. Okay. Write the code here. TXT total equals to val Val function will convert the text into value. TXT sub 1 plus val TXT sub 2 
plus val txt sub 3. The next txt percentage equals to okay txt total divided with 3. Here we are having 3 subjects. Any number of subjects are required. You can add any number of subjects according to your requirement. Just double click on cancel button. Here write it as end. Then save the changes. Control S. Save. Okay. Then run the project. Run the project as username is student. Then password is password. Click on the login button. It will re redirect us to form 2. Here you can mention the name as any name you can give according to James. So the rule number is 101. Subject is 90. 99. 95. Then click on the result button. See the result is produced. Okay. If you want to get the result in one moon form, if you just click on this total option, the result should be produced. How to do so? Let us check. Click on cancel button. Go to the form to design. Okay. This is the design. Click on the design. Just select this total. Text box from here, select get focus. Here, copy and paste the same code in get focus. Control C, Control V. Just save the changes. Control S, run the project again. The so username is student, password is password. Click on the login button. It will redirect us to form 2. So here name of the student is John. Rule number is 102. Subject is, subject 1 is 86. Subject 2 is 89. And subject 3, the marks is 76. If I click on the Total text box, the result is produced. Now here we can get the result in both the ways. Let's click here, see the result is produced. Or else if we click on result button, the result is produced. Okay. Then click on cancel button to stop the execution. So in this way we can design the form to students marks list. Any number of subjects you can add, 4, 5, 6, according to your requirement. I hope you understood this concept, friends. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe. Have a great day.